is your boy Jay Hen with Jay Hen Travel and Services. I want to thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel and to check out this YouTube video. So the, for the past month, I've been in the works working on a new business venture. I'm already the co-owner of two group homes for teen boys and out of home placement in the city of Milwaukee. I'm a travel agent. So now I'm adding to the mix. I'm very excited. I'm adding to the mix J Hen LLC. Just became official during the month of April. And so with that, I'm going to be bringing photo booths and starting to get into the party planning, party events, and all those types of things. So now I have two photo booths. Today I'm going to be focusing on one that just came now which is my uh photo booth that i got from your city photo booth again i got this from your city photo booth i saw advertisements for it online like on facebook and social media so what did i do i went ahead and ordered one and i got the mini photo booth again from your city photo booth so today i'm going to like unbox and put together my actual photo booth which is the mini photo booth from your city photo booth so it did come in three boxes I have three boxes here that it came in. I'm gonna go through and show you what came in each box. And then I might have to speed the video up as I actually put the photo booth together. And I also got, actually I got maybe one, two, three. I got five boxes because I did order ink, paper, and a printer. So I won't be going over that right now in this video. I can probably make another video just to show the ink, the printer. But I think you guys might wanna see more of this whole photo booth ac action more than the printer and the ink and the paper. So I did open the boxes. I didn't pull everything out, but I did pull stuff kind of out of this one because this box didn't have much inside of it. So here it came with the uh, carrying case, which I believe was extra. So I did pay extra money to get the carrying case. So again, I have these three boxes all in size like this. I wonder if my camera person, can you see the full length of the boxes? Mm -hmm. They can see how long they are. Okay, so it does seem like a lot when you're looking at these three boxes standing this tall But as you can see the photo booth is going to be able to break down to fit into something like this which should be easy for uh, Carrying because it has handles which are right here on the side as well as It has zippers that go down the middle which again, I'll see once I put it together what some of these different uh, compartments can be used for so it has outside zipper uh, compartment area and then it unzips all the way around it has some padding inside and actually a piece that can kind of separate keep stuff separated here but it's pretty nice size nice sturdy bag here I think it's made out of some pretty good material it actually feels too like it's water resistant so let me keep moving because you guys know sometimes if I get talking I just start talking so much so that was inside the box. And I do have some notes on the side, so to help me out, I might look at my notes as well um, to see. So these are the white panels um, that are supposed to help build the photo booth. So again, as we get into building it, we'll see what these actually do or where they actually fit in in the photo booth. So there was a lot of bubble wrap in here. Like I said, I went through this box already, and a lot of that bubble wrap there actually had the Surface Pro. So Again, I wanted mine to be able to be ready for business right out the box, so I did have them to include the, um, that's why I went with this camera, because it came with the Surface Pro tablet, nice Surface Pro tablet here, that, you know, interactive people can touch, I believe, while they're taking the picture, so we're going to sit this over on the side. It did come with a Rebel T6, an EOS Rebel T6 uh, Canon camera, so again, this is a nice camera that it came with. It has uh, the cameras right here in the box. You know, it has a nice strap on it, which you probably won't need that because I'm believing the camera will go inside the actual photo booth. Um, so again, I didn't take the camera out or anything, but it did come with the camera. Thought about maybe I could use this for filming YouTube, but it doesn't have that flip or front facing the camera where you can see yourself recording. But here's the nice camera. I'm guessing this is like a charging, something that you use to charge the camera. Then 
I guess this is like an additional lens for those that are really into the photographer and things like that. Those that are for those that are uh, real photographers and things like that, it has this extra lens and the battery pack. So I guess that's what this piece is right here to actually charge the battery to the camera. Then there's this box. Oh, this is the LED ring light that came in that box too. So the four things that were in the first box, we have the Surface Pro, the LED light, and the uh, camera, and the white panel. So I'm gonna open this up. I have scissors around here somewhere. I don't wanna cut myself on camera, but I'm almost like I wanna do it like Christmas time, just get to ripping, but. Oh, the box is pretty much secure and put together. See, look at that. It's stored and cushioned. So I guess if there is some, if it's getting thrown around on a truck with UPS or FedEx, it's pretty secure. And, uh -oh. voila, we have the LED light. So I had to go through that just to get this out. But that's good the way it's packed because it has extra cushion, so can't get damaged. That's it, box one. All right, we're moving on to box number three, and the boxes don't have any numbers on them. At least I don't think they do when they come. I'm just calling them a number based on the order I'm opening them in. So this is box number three. Let me know, aren't you guys excited? J Hen Entertainment. LLC. I'm excited. So this is another box. Oops, what is it? So again, there's lots of cords in here. Actually, some foam that I'll probably have to get out. But there's uh, lots of cord cords. I see there's a uh, like almost like a combination type of lock on the back of here um and then down both sides it says photo so i could i just know that this pretty much just goes right on top of here and lines up that way but for now i'm just going to sit it down on the floor until i get to actually building it and that's it oh wow that's it just is that the only thing i put out of that box I think that's all I put out that box. Okay, I got people recording me <laughs> so they can help me out. All right, now we're going to get into the actual construction, the uh, photo booth. Okay, so again, I just want to reiterate, out of all three boxes, it did not come with any instructions or it did not come with any type of packing list. Um, but they did send me an email that did have like information about software and sites to go and buy props from. It also had um, links to YouTube videos to go to know how to install everything as well as to how to use the printers. And again, because it didn't come with any type of instructions, this was locked. And luckily the two people I have here helping me to film today, they were smart enough and wise enough to think, just put it on zero, 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 and it actually worked. Now I'm gonna have to probably change this because if I'm out at an event and you're one of my YouTube peoples, you might try to go on my thing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, but yeah, so I just put it on zero, zero, zero and I was able to open it up and voila. And then once you open it up, you can see inside, which is very cool. There's actually uh, a remote control and it's Velcro. In. So that's pretty good. So this is, I'm sure this probably has something to do, I'm thinking, maybe with the LED light, but we'll see a little bit later on. And now we're going to go into installing and putting this together. So it's saying that the first step that you have to do is to get the LED light and attach that first. So what I'm doing is I'm actually watching one of the YouTube videos that they sent me and then I'm mimicking what is in the video. So I don't represent your city photo booth, um, but 
hopefully this video can help you if you're wondering about how to put it together or what you have to do. So it's saying the first thing you have to do is unscrew this off of the ring light. And then there's like a latch in here that you just put the ring light, put the ring, the LED light through here and kind of line it up a little bit. And then it just kind of goes down in here and then you screw in this piece but I wonder if I put it too low then because I can't screw it in so maybe I have to have it higher there's no hook at the top to hold it in place but or should I go through here oh no my hands are kind of too little to, too big to go through there so for me it's a little difficult trying to see how to line up the LED light and it doesn't like enough space for me to get my hands in here to even screw it in and it's so much space so it doesn't like tell you how far down to push the LED light I'm struggling yeah I'm struggling here with this part because it it can push down so far, but the further, if you push it all the way down, you can't stick your hand in there. And then if you pull it so far up, yes, yeah, so I'll pull it all the way up. It's up too high to where you can't put the screw in. Okay, I might finally have to, I might finally have it here. I kind of had to angle the piece as I was screwing it in. It seems a little dangerous. Seems like it could have broke or something, but. Mm, I don't know. It feels, it's not all the way screwed in there. I guess it is screwed in as far as it can kind of go, but maybe it's screwed in as far as it can go. So that's step one, getting the LED uh, ring light put inside. Should have probably been like a, 30 second job and it took me all this time to do it okay so now that we have the LED ring light installed inside with the cords you just have to find the cord that attaches in the back this cord right here attaches to the back of the LED light so that will give you your power once you're out at your event and again they have all the cords um, separated very nicely for you and I got the right plug, voila, that's plugged in. The LED light is LED light is good to go. Did I say that right? LED light is good to go. All right, let's go on to the next step. So I have the, uh, the camera here. I'm gonna install the camera next. So this screw should be in the box that your camera uh, came with. It wasn't attached to mine. So the camera just pretty much sits inside here. And then if you loosen these up, it'll twist. Uh-oh. And then you can enter this, put this screw in to attach the camera. All right, camera's in. Let's get to the next step. Okay, so I have my Surface Pro. I'm going to install my Surface Pro into the photo booth. And what I'm going to do, because on their YouTube video, the Surface Pro that they have has the uh, Windows icon at the bottom. The one that they sent me does not, but I can see that it does have all of the USB and the different outlets at the bottom. So I'm going to make this the bottom part and put that in to the photo booth. There's like a little latch, and this is a lot easier to install. Okay, so that was easy to put that Surface Pro in. That's the type of uh, handy work I like to do. Stuff that's nice, easy, not too difficult.
Okay, so I do have the booth stacked on top of the smaller piece that, uh, that it attaches to. They didn't show this in their YouTube video, like how to attach the bottom piece to the top piece. Really wasn't that hard to figure out. The only thing I did is I had it facing the wrong way. So the LED lights, I would have had to crisscross them across to get them to hang on the hooks that are inside of here. But there are two hooks at the top. And you pretty much just bring the LED lights up along the side and you can hook them on to the hooks. So again, if you notice that you're trying to crisscross from over on this side, then you must have the top piece on the wrong way. So I'll know that for the future. So I'm just unraveling the LED lights. Another easy, simple thing to do. Okay, now I'm going to start applying the uh, four white panels. There's tape strips here to make them stick. I did get nervous and started taking pictures right away because I saw these uh, two smaller ones and I'm thinking they came broke. And then I had to think there was a bar right here. Wouldn't be able to fit a full length panel on the two top sides. So don't get alarmed like me if you see that. So there you have it, my J Hen crew. I've put this whole uh, mini photo booth together that I got from Your City Photo Booth, and you saw everything I went through while I was actually putting it together. You see, I was struggling a little bit, but in actuality, it's really quick, it's really fast, and I think and I know once I get to events, it's not going to take no time to get this thing up and running and together for the events. And you can see it has the nice surface for pro is put inside. The LED light is here. It can go bright, brighter than this that it is right now. It can go lower than that. And I have this nice remote control that actually controls the uh, lighting that goes down the side. And this is what's going to really catch the crowd and catch people's attention. As I spin this around here, you got a little light show that goes on. And you can change the colors. You can change the speed. And maybe even so you can get a real idea, we'll turn the lights down. Okay, now that it's dark, you can see how this really lights up. And you can see how it'll really draw attention of the crowd at that wedding, that bar mitzvah, at that homecoming, that prom. Whatever event you're at, once these lights get to going, you can set up whatever colors you want. And it's going to really draw the crowd to your booth. And the lights are on both sides. So... Don't think it's just showing on one side, it's actually on the other side as well. And it says photo booth going all the way down. And if, again, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Maybe you have someone else that's purchasing this, go ahead and hit the share button. Or if you have uh, someone that's thinking about purchasing this that you know, and they're kind of considering what is it going to look like, how is it going to be putting it together, go ahead, hit that share button. And if you're looking to maybe have me come to your event with this, if you're in the Midwest, I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So if you're like in Chicago, St. Louis, any of a place maybe on the southeastern Wisconsin, 
Look down below in the description. You can find my email address and we can see if we can set something up for you. And look for my next video. I have the Mirror Me booth coming this week, so I'll be coming back with that one. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Hen.